All right, so I just plugged it in. Negative cable is off and I just, basically the current goes through the multimeter. So we have 0 0.7 right now. I just uh, connected it so it's gonna keep going down. Uh, doors are closed, both of them. Everything is off and uh, the trunk is open, but this uh, light that was here is uh, closed. Or, uh, sorry, disconnected. Yeah, uh, we're gonna focus on this fuse box. Inside of this fuse box, there's this fuse, number eight and number nine. Both of these fuses are actually for the anti-theft alarm system. And uh, we're gonna pull it in a little bit, but first I wanna wait and see if this thing went down. Okay, so it went down to 0 0.2, okay. And I actually have one more fuse out right now for the central locking inside the car. So that fuse is out, okay. And that fuse was drawing about, uh, I think, is 0.4, no, 0 0.04 of an amp. Uh, so right now with that fuse in, it would have been a 0 0.2 eight or something like that all right so but now what i want to do i want to i want to wait at least 20 to 30 minutes and to see if uh, you know this will drop anymore or not but right now it's 0 0.2 of an amp it's way too much it's going to be draining the battery all right so i got the cap off i'm going to adjust this uh bearing uh, by putting the wheel back on and uh, if you haven't watched my videos on how to adjust the wheel bearings on these amazing machines link is gonna be up here yep turn it a little bit and just to the point where the play is gone in the wheel now it's gone awesome so now I'm gonna take the wheel off and tighten that all right, so it's been about 30 minutes and the drain is down to 0 0.18. All right, now let's go ahead and play with the fuses in the back, those two fuses. So we got number eight and number nine. So we're gonna pull number nine first. Grab my Mercedes-Benz tool that was supplied with this car. All right, so that's number eight that we just pulled. Let's go look at the draw. Look at that. We're down to 0 0.04 with this fuse. So that's telling me this, you know, this is like I was telling you, anti-theft circuit, number eight and number nine. So we're gonna have to try to pull some plugs out of some of the connectors or whatever, so. Let's go ahead and put this fuse back in. All right, I'm gonna put this fuse back. And I'm gonna recheck the draw. It's probably gonna jump up right now. Okay, it jumped up to 0.25, but it's gonna go down here shortly. All right, we're back to 0 0.18. Next, we're gonna pull number nine. Number nine is also an anti-theft circuit. And we're down to 0 0.15. So this one draws about, I would say 0 0.03. So it's not like crazy, not a lot. So it's not the main circuit that we're gonna be focusing on, but this other one, let's put this back on now. All right, just put the number nine fuse back in. It activated some systems, so 0 0.63 right now. It's about to go down here shortly too. 0.18 so the tire was rubbing right here because this panel wasn't connected or installed properly it was actually coming out so i rearranged it back now just uh, have to find a bolt for this and that yeah and uh no, it shouldn't be causing any issues because it's actually cutting a little bit into the tire on the inside as you can see right here oh all right guys so the draw is back to um 0 0.18 so we can go ahead and actually start disconnecting things i just know that this car has this uh alarm siren which is located right here so we're gonna disconnect this guy so check this out 0 0.18 i'm trying to feel this actually if i can 
feel like the buzzing maybe of what's going on, but it's crazy how these things are so unreliable and they just start, uh, you know, doing crazy things. You know, you don't really see it on those, uh, you know, 70s, 80s, 90s benzes as much. <laughs> um, because they don't really have stuff like this. I mean, the 90s benzes started doing that, late 80s, like the alarm and all that, but those systems were super reliable. But uh, let's go ahead and disconnect this guy. Uh, uh, check this out. It goes down to 0 0.04, 0 0.05. So that's actually pretty acceptable. Um, yeah, so first big problem is this alarm siren. I don't know, I'm gonna talk to the owner, but as of right now, what I'm gonna do is just tape this connector actually, seal it up and just tuck it out of the way. And then this this thing is junk, I gotta check. And uh, maybe I'll actually open it up and see what's up with it, but we're not gonna reuse that. Now, there's, like I was telling you, there's still one more fuse that's out uh, for the central locking. So I'm gonna plug it in and we're gonna see if you know that fuse is causing any draws as well all right so the fuse i was talking about it's actually this guy right here it goes in there so we're gonna plug this in like so and then i'm gonna close the door again and then we're gonna wait about 20 to 30 minutes because now this thing is drawing a bunch of more current it's at 0.68 as you can see so we're gonna wait we're gonna wait because that cluster uh, came alive so we gotta wait for the cluster to go back to sleep Zip. yep in the meantime i'm gonna start cleaning that seat all right so as you can see our draw is 0 0.11 and that one is disconnected all right so that's our main problem is that siren and now there are two more fuses that are drawing power and each one draws about like 0 0.06 or so so we're just gonna have to figure out what uh what those items are so we can take care of that at least one of them because if the draw drops to like 0 0.05 0 0.04 i mean that is actually mostly acceptable i mean the best is to have a 0 0.02 but We'll see how everything goes but this was the biggest uh culprit that was drawing all the power so the seat is coming along looks a lot cleaner now just gotta keep on cleaning the bottom portion so this is the fuse which is 21 that's drawing about 0 0.06 of an amp I'm about to take this panel off this is cracked right there. This is all broken up, whatever. This. So got the door panel out. There's some interesting stuff going on here. Someone's definitely been here. Um, I'm gonna have to re-glue some of these door panel mounts. Uh, this one, actually, it's weird. And also like kind of came off of the door panel. That speaker. Somebody's been here. I guess it was just laying here like this. Strangely. Yeah. So that's interesting. This one is going to be easy. I'll just have to glue it back. It goes to one of these places right here. That's easy. But other than that, door panel looks really good. Just needs cleanup. Yeah. So this uh, wire right here disconnected, it actually goes to the mirror. The, the draw is still uh, 0 0.11 it's not the mirror so i don't know if we're getting that uh siren maybe we're gonna order a new one or a good used one but now i just put liquid electrical tape on, on this connector right here so the water doesn't get in it while it's disconnected I'm not worried about the siren side yeah now what's really funny is i disconnected the mirror on that side and I don't know if it's from me disconnecting because as soon as I disconnected, disconnected the mirror on that side, it was still at 0 
and then i reconnected it and then i didn't go back and look but then some moments later i see that it's right here like this and the mirror is connected right now so that's really strange so i'm gonna monitor this again maybe you know maybe some other system went to sleep actually all right so check this out it's 0 0.11 right now let's go disconnect this crazy guy by the way they're almost done cleaning the door panel so let's disconnect this connector that goes to this guy this is door module so now let's see what it's showing 0 0.04 and now i'm gonna go disconnect the mirror once again actually no we're gonna wait we're gonna wait and see if it actually drops down to because it, it was at 0 0.01 before man magic eraser does wonders this thing is getting really clean all right so i just uh disconnected this and wrapped the whole thing and sealed the connector and just zip tied it out of the way because i'm not sure if we're gonna be replacing this siren or not so i'm gonna have to talk to the owner but just kind of treating it like as if we're not at the moment so flex disc looks i mean it's still good actually i've saw this is actually still okay from this side looking at at it we're gonna do the trans service for sure um i'm gonna check the rear honestly not too bad at all i'm gonna have to check from different angles but looking good so far this is how clean this area is right here on this side still have to clean the front portion but this one's looking pretty good